Hi folks, welcome back to our T Terra Firma Craft TNG series. If you'll recall, in the last episode I died horribly. So the first thing we'll do this episode is go pick up my stuff. Because it shouldn't have spawned yet, I don't think. Over here. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of these other flowers here I haven't talked about so far. Um, any of the flowers that I've checked on, the only thing they're good for is uh, for making various dyes. Uh, the same is true, I'll, I'll show you in a bit more detail once I've recovered my stuff, but the same is true for the various, uh, oh shit, there's a saber tooth there. I get all my stuff before he kills me? Not really. Okay. He didn't come after me in the water. All right. So I don't know how much of my stuff I got. <laughs> But I got some of it. Oh, I got my berry bush. That's the important thing. <laughs> the hide will be useful too. So I'll have to keep in mind. Oh, it's just a wolf. So I'll have to keep in mind that there is a uh, a saber tooth there. Great. So even if I hadn't uh, died of thirst that last time, I might very well die to the uh, the tiger. Okay, let's find our way back home here. There it is. Yeah, so I'll uh, show you one next time I see them, but there's a couple of things that grow on surfaces. So they'll either grow flat on the ground or on the sides of blocks and things like that and those are more or less the same like over here you can see this stuff here this is uh, just uh, morning glory and this stuff here this white on green stuff is reindeer lichen and then there's another one that's all green and that's moss and it's the same thing all they all they're good for at least so far, is uh, for dyes. Okay, let's see what we did manage to pick up. Well, not too bad. First, let's put this berry bush down. I will start a berry farm here. Ta-da! First of many, I hope. Um, get my other stuff organized the way I like it. Well, I got my shovel still. That's something. Okay, uh, if we look down at my bars down below. So I'm the the red bar is my hit points. I'm 769, 770 now out of 850. So I lost some points when the tiger hit me. Um, I don't think I talked about this before. When you bring up your inventory, there's four tabs here. One is your regular inventory tab. Next one down are your skills. There's four different skills at the moment, and the only one I have anything in is butchering, and that'll be from killing the, um, the hyena? Was a hy Yeah, it was a hyena I killed, right? Yeah. Uh, the other one is the calendar, so you can see we're in early summer, which surprised me. I thought the game st always started in spring, but apparently it doesn't. I can't remember if there's 10 days per season. Uh, well, I shouldn't say per season. Uh, so, so each season is broken up. There are four seasons. And each season is broken up into three parts. Early, and then the actual season, and then late. And I think each of those segments is 10 days or something like that. Anyway. And then this one here is your health. Or actually, you're really your nutrition levels. 
so because I died, I got reset to 50 everywhere. And uh, actually, I'm not sure why my dairy isn't 50. Hmm. That's odd. I wonder if that's a change in the game. But anyway, so they get reset to 50. And if I, as I eat more stuff, like they'll go down over time. And as I eat of the various categories, it'll go up. I haven't got anything edible on me right now, so I can't demonstrate that. But once I get something edible, I'll show you that. Um, so the other two bars down below, I think I talked about them before, but the green one is my hunger bar. So um, I'm full up. I don't need anything. And the blue one is my water bar. Let's fill that up now. And our goal for this episode is to try and get to the point where we can make some ceramics. And for that, we need to find clay. Um, now, there was some clay. I know some clay when I <laughs> when I was dying of thirst, there was some clay. But that's back where the saber tooth is. So let's find a different way to go. Uh, let's have a look at the big map here. Yeah, so the saber tooth is over here somewhere. So let's cross the big... Well, it's not that big. Cross the water here and uh, and try out this other side. See what it's got to offer us. Now, there are two ways to find clay, or to spot clay, I should say. Uh, one is to uh, just look at, uh, at the banks around rivers and lakes and oceans, like this area here. And see if you can spot it. It's uh, it's a it's a banded block. It's kind of like white with a brown band running diagonally through it, or at an angle through it at any rate. So that's one way of looking for it. The other one is that there's one particular type of plant that only grows on top of clay. Now in the original TFC that plant was daffodils, but in this version it's um, ethereum, ethereum fern. So, so we're looking for either some banded blocks that we see next to by some water, or you know, well, anywhere that there's the sides of blocks are exposed, but you can see here under normal circumstances, right? You can't even see the blocks, the, the sides of blocks. It would only be if, you know, if there's a cliff of some sort. Ah, and this is a nice find. Uh, this here is maize or corn, if you will. So let's record that. That'll be nice to have. Oops. And cancel. Excellent. Um, hmm, the deer. I'm going to need food at some point. But I'm fine for now. Um, it may take me quite a while to find any, uh, any clay. So what I'll do is, uh, is I'll probably just, uh, sign off for now and bring you back in when I find some clay or <laughs> something tries to kill me or some other exciting prospect. So I'll see you in a bit. I'll bring you in just for a moment here. These are um, squash, I think. Yeah, I think these are squash. So I'll uh, record those as well. And uh, see you again in a bit. Well, I still haven't found any clay yet, but I'm just bringing in to show you this because you run into a lot of these. Oh, this one isn't even that deep. But uh, whatever algorithm it is that generates the uh, the underground portion of TSC, it tries to generate some caves, and very frequently they run, uh, they break through the surface. So you're always having to be careful about these ravines that suddenly open up and threaten to swallow you. So. So that's one thing to be careful about when you're running around. And sometimes there could be just like a thin layer of dirt, like just one block layer of dirt. And so if you stand on that, 
and that triggers a block update and like I say blocks obey gravity so you could end up falling in. If you keep moving you're probably safe though uh, because it takes a moment for it to update so you should be off the block by then but something to be wary of. All right I'll continue with my search and get back to you. Well it's starting to get dark and still no clay, but <laughs> I found another exposed copper vein. <laughs> so they're not that common, but I've already found two in this seed. So I guess it's a pretty good seed. I'll keep looking for clay, though. Okay, here we go. I think I'm going to take two game days. But this is the plant here. This is Ethereum Fern. Um, do I have a knife on me? No, I don't. Let's make knives. A knife. So they're going to be needing them anyway. <laughs> Kept finding bunches of free-floating mushrooms. Nothing really I can use them for, but I'll throw them out in a bit. And, yeah, there we go. Ethereum fern. And so this... <laughs> so some dirt fell down somewhere around. Oh, probably over there. You can see there's a hole in the ground. But anyway, so this here then should be clay. Yeah, there we go. And see what I mean? It's got the... It's white with these brown bands running diagonally through it. All right. Finally, let's collect a bunch of this stuff. Any there? Nope. Any down here? Oh, good. Yeah, we're going to need to make we, some vessels, clay vessels, basically pots or jugs. Um if for no other reason than to, I mean, we'll need them to be able to uh, smelt copper down to make our first metal tools. But until we have metal tools, we can't make really anything out of wood. So we can't make chests, and that's the other thing that the vessels are good for, is chests let you store at least a little bit more than will fit in your inventory. Is there any more here? Yep, so we actually took all of it. Okay. So that's lots of lovely clay we have. Now to go home. Except the other thing I would like to do... I mean my... F oh! This is another uh, berry bush of some kind. Cloudberry. Oh, neat. Well, we'll add that to our bush gar or our bush, our berry garden. Um, we want to find our way home here. There we go. 288 blocks away. Oh yeah. So the other thing I want to do is make some spears. So this is the pattern for a spearhead. Uh, because I still haven't found, I found a couple more crops while I was running around. I showed you the, uh, the squash, but I still haven't found any of the, where they had ripe edibles on them yet. So I'm going to need to kill something to eat. So, since I keep running into deer, I might as well make sure that I'm ready for it. Okay. We'll head back, and if we happen to see... Excuse me for a second. 
if we happen to see any uh, nice big deer, try to take one down. <laughs> Alternatively, if we get chased by a predator and I can find my way into the water, maybe I can have predator for dinner. Yeah, one thing I have to remember, because I keep forgetting, is that, there, see, there's deer there. That's a rabbit. And that one's a doe. Might even be a fawn. It looks small. It'd be a fawn. If I kill that, there may be no meat on it at all. So I really do want the bigger one. See, there's a bigger doe. Where's the stag? Nice to get the stag if I could. If not, then I'll just take the doe. Yeah, I don't see the stag anywhere. Alright, let's see if I can get this doe. I think that was too high. Nope, too low. There we go. Did I not get any meat at all off of that? Oh man. What a waste. Alright. Um, is this the same maze that I found before? Let's find out. Yep, okay. Alright. Uh, continue on my merry way, I guess. I seem to be running into deer frequently enough. It shouldn't be a problem. Although that kind of sounds like famous last words. Alrighty. Oh, there's a deer there. Hear you. Oh, there you are. Let's see if I can get you. No, not that way. I won't. Oh, you're in the water. Awesome. That got me some meat. There we go. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Seven raw venison. Okay. That should hold me over until some of those crops mature. Okay. Uh, but first thing we need to do is we're almost out of water. So there we go again. Great. Um, here's my berry forest. So let's add the cloudberry to that. Um, there we go, cloudberry. Um, where do I want my... Oh, actually, the first thing I should do... Take down a couple of trees. It takes a long time to fire fire clay clay goods or clay products, so 
just get that started and we can work on something else while it goes. How many logs do I have? That's enough. Um, okay, let's first eliminate some crap from the inventory that I don't need. Goodbye, Ethereum Fern. Goodbye, more mushrooms. And I want to hang on to everything else for the moment. I'm going to need a bunch of straw. So I'm just cutting the grass here. Sixteen straw, that's plenty. Uh, we're going to need to take this tree down as well. Otherwise it'll burn down when I try to fire the clay. Yeah, well, I'm going to be building a, um, a pit kiln to fire the clay, and they'll burn anything burnable within about two or three squares. Which is why I like building them near stone if I can. So that's going to be our pit kiln. Um, let's make some stuff. Uh, let's get this down here. Okay. So I'm going to need a couple of vessels, small vessels. And this works very similar to the napping. See, this is a small unfired vessel. And so it's a 5x5 five five grid, and you, like, I guess you're supposed to be molding the clay, but you take the bits, click on the bits you want to remove. Uh, one difference is you have to have at least five clay in your hand to do it, and it takes up five. Okay, and I'm going to want two of those, just because they're so useful at the start. Uh, this is the pattern for a water jug. Well, yeah, for a jug. I don't know if you can put anything else other than water in it. You can probably put milk in it. Don't, I don't I've never tried that, but it'll probably work. Uh, get those out of the way. And a second jug. Okay. Now in... In TFC, you can place things on the ground. Um, so each block has four corners. You can place one item in each thing. And you just put your cursor over the corner you want. And then whatever, and press V and whatever's in your hand will go in there. And to pick them back up, you just, with an empty hand, hover over it and press V again. Um, so that was in the old TFC, except in the old TFC you could also place things by right-clicking them in the bottom of the, or right-clicking them on the block, and the right-click doesn't work anymore. So you have to use the V. So I place four unfired items in the bottom of the pit kiln. And eight straw. Eight logs. Where are my sticks? Here. Uh, two diagonal sticks. Craft them together to give me a fire starter. And we apply it to this thing until it starts. Oh, first try. Great. And so, like I said, that's going to take a while to run. So, while that's running, uh, this stuff here is broom, or I think horsetail, uh, it's horsetail, scouring brush or something like that, scouring brush, scouring rush horsetail, and again, it's something that all it does is, all it's useful for is for dyes, so, but we might as well, oh, yeah, um, Let's build a home first. Doesn't have to be anything fancy right now, just something to hide from the <laughs> hide from the saber tooths and the bears and the hyenas and the lions and the tigers, oh my. Uh, let 
that's that enough to build with? I should get this down because it might catch fire. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned this before. Um, if your axe runs out while you're chopping something down, chopping down a tree, say, um, you'll still get some of the logs from the tree in proportion to however much use was left on the axe. Okay. Let's finish this guy off. So there's probably a log floating up there somewhere caught up in the tree. Actually caught in the branches of this tree probably, so let's take this guy down too. And that should give us enough to build a house with. There we go. Alright. Now to build our house, what do we want to do here? Uh, one, two, three. Boom. Which I just picked up a bunch of stuff I threw away out of the horse. Scouring brush, horse, whatever. Okay. Don't need this guy. And now. want to make sure I can close some water so that I can drink while I'm huddling inside. Still, I <laughs> also have to be careful, of course, that my house doesn't get too close to the fire. Um, for logs, um, if you shift and then right click a log on the ground, it'll create a uh, log pile. So you can see right now there's one log in it. Um, and on an existing pile, if you click with a stack, it'll move as much of the stack as it can in there. And you see a log pile will hold 16 logs. Uh, they're in groups of four, four groups of four. Uh, each Within each of those groups, they have to be all the same log, but the, the groups separately could be different, like these are all Douglas fir, right? So... I can have four maple logs there and the others are all Douglas fir, for example. Alright, so we'll do that so I have access to some logs. It's also kind of a cheap way of building. Um, I won't get into it now, but if you want to actually try and... Whoops, I <laughs> didn't mean to do that. As soon as you take the last log out, the, the log pile goes away. Um, so I don't want to get into it right now, but... You can build structures out of uh, log piles. You're not supposed to, and Biox put in some stuff to prevent it, but it's still possible. Oh, I'm going to need some of these. But it's kind of cheaty, so I don't bother doing it. Whoops, didn't want that. Alright, uh, let's start getting a roof in. Uh, I need to chop down some more trees. And still the fire burns. Okay, back inside here. Finish roofing ourselves in. Oh, 
Oh, and I meant to leave a, uh, I want to leave a little window here. So I can gaze out over our beautiful pond. Okay. That's about it for the structure there. Um, something you can do with these straw is you can combine four straw to make a block of thatch. Um, the thing about thatch is it'll block things visually, but you can move through them. They slow you down just a little bit. So they won't stop monsters or mobs from getting into a place. But uh, they'll stop the mobs from seeing you, so usually that's good enough. So I often use them as a cheap doorway. Okay, now as I mentioned before, I can, uh, I can use V to pick these up. Uh, if you want to pick up everything that's on a block, you can also just hit it with your hand and they'll all pop up. Okay. And now we have our vessels. And some water jugs. Let's go fill our water jugs with water. You can also put salt water in them, but don't do that because... I have yet to find a way to get it out except by drinking it, and of course that can hurt you. Um, the last thing we want to do, come inside our building here. Oh, I've still got uh, still got an opening here to fill in. There we go. Let's build ourselves a fire, a fire pit. Or I think it's called campfire is the actual name. So we throw, whoops, three sticks on the ground. I think there's three there. And a log. And then you use the fire starter again. Ooh, I'm getting lucky. These are all working first time. Okay. Um, first thing, let's make some... Uh, some torches, so we have some light here. I don't need very many, 10 should do me for now. And let's cook some food. Come on. Oh yeah, we're getting pretty hungry. That's good. Okay. Oh yeah, you can see I'm I'm hovering over the food, and it tells you a bunch of stuff, how big it is, um, and it tells you when it expires. So food will decay in TFC, and so it gives us both the date and time and uh, and when, and that's a difference from the old TFC. You didn't know when it was going to go. You just knew it would go eventually. Um, the old TFC actually would show you the percentage it had rotted by. And we don't have that percentage thing. I mean, there's all this complicated mechanism for cutting the rotted part off and all that. And that's all gone. Uh, things are good until they hit their expiry date. And then they just, they're completely gone after that. There we go. Let's eat my fill. And uh, have a bit to drink. And let's call that an episode. So we made the goal. Yay! We've got some uh, clay pots now. So the next thing we'll do for the next episode, our aim is going to be to try and collect enough copper to be able to make uh, make our first metal tools. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, uh, well, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you on that. And other than that, I will see you at the next episode, I hope. Bye now.